City Cans have been a disaster for he I know he tweeted out this morning something along the lines of, you know, that there's going to be an increase in violence because of the cost of living. I'm like, no, mate, you are responsible for what's happening in London. You're the mayor of London, and what you're doing in London is a disgrace. Mm. We've had more stabbings, more deaths, more crimes gone up in London under his watch than when Boris was mayor. So he has been an absolute disaster for the people of London, and he's, he's, he's a disgrace. And he never accepts responsibility, Mike. You know, he, he blames everybody else except taking responsibility for his own actions and that is a crying shame because yeah. anybody in leadership should be a person who accepts responsibility and say I got this wrong this is what I'm going to do to change it but yes. he doesn't no, of course no. it doesn't. Now, I know you need a cheering up down there because uh, things are pretty bad in Wales, right? So I'm going to show you this. This is what uh, Sadiq Khan's actually attached his advice to. It's a BBC. This is your tax dollars at work. This is the BBC telling you what to do in a thunderstorm. If thunderstorms are in the forecast and you start to hear some thunder, that means lightning isn't too far away. And there are three things you can do to keep yourself safe. The first is that if you're near a building, it's best to seek some shelter. He's actually going inside a door. <laughs> if you happen to be out travelling nope, no, in your in car, car, stay in your car, because any lightning that might hit it goes around the metal box and the electricity gets diffused by your rubber tyres. So it's fine then? Okay. If you're outside, away from any shelter, the best thing you can do is find an <laughs> open field and get into the middle, away from any trees or metal poles, yeah. and crouch low to the ground. Yeah. And of course, the last thing you want to do in a thunderstorm is put up your umbrella. Dear me. I mean, have you ever seen anything so ridiculous, Richard? What, what have we become? <laughs> I mean, it's the funniest thing the BBC have put on for ages. <laughs> It's, the, it's very rare I'm lost for words, right? When I watch that, I am completely dumbfounded. As a Welshman who's good with words, I am lost for words. Because it's absolutely ridiculous, right? It is. We've got people telling us what to do in a thunderstorm. Yeah. I mean, for goodness sake. I mean, it's, it's like this apocalyptic messages again. You mentioned it, Kevin Sullivan last week. Doomsday stuff with the weatherman on BBC. I mean, what is wrong with people? It's called the weather. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's amazing. I, I mean, I knew you'd have that reaction because it is literally ludicrous. I might play it again later on. Listen, coming up, I want to talk to you about the state of Wales um, and how the anti-car agenda is actually really hurting it. Uh, how, of course, that the NHS is now crippled to such an extent that a 90-year-old woman was left waiting uh, three days for a hospital bed, 40 hours for an ambulance, 40 hours, and then finally in an ambulance outside the hospital, they wouldn't let her out. So you just stay the night in an ambulance. It's unbelievable.